I completely forgot about that, about the sketch that I thought I found. No, no, don't do this to me. Okay, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another one of my videos. I hope you're having a very nice day and a very nice week. Today I'm playing a game called The House of E, which is a free game on Steam, and the developer actually emailed me asking if I wanted to play it. So thanks for the email. I would love to play it, and it's free, which is even better. So I'm not going to read anything on the website because usually they just tell you at the beginning, which is great fun. I always have fun doing that. So we're just going to go into it. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be about an hour, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. So I think it's like horror and puzzles mixed together. So yeah, um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. That'd be great. Like the video if you enjoy it and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I am always interested to hear your thoughts on the games I play. There we go. I knew there would be a bit of description. My name is David Adams. I'm unemployed. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a fucking loser. I know that. But today... Today, I am a brother. Emma, my younger sister, is... missing? I thought I said, but today, I'm a brother, as in, like, you just had a sister. But Emma, my younger sister, is missing. She's a journalist at the Virginia Gazette, and I'm sure she's great at her job. Although, to be honest, I've never bothered to read any of her work. Obviously, I haven't been a good brother, either. I know that, too. Okay. But I do also know that before she went missing, her boss gave her a very important assignment. He asked her to conduct an interview with the famous novelist, one Everett Sage, the master of horror and macabre, the prince of nightmares, and all that bullshit. He's best known for the Darkford series, which tells the story of a creepy town that one can enter through an old door covered in blood. Silly stuff, but people seem to love it. The thing is, this Everett Sage, well, he vanished without a trace too. Oh, okay. People from the newspaper told me that Everett Sage had invited Emma to his mansion just a couple of days before she disappeared. There must be a connection here. Something more. The cops say they found the place and found nothing suspicious, but how can I trust them? A bunch of lazy bastards, yeah. Tell them. They don't care. But I do. She's my sister, for crying out loud. I let her down so many times before. No, not this time. No more. The mansion is the right place to start my investigation. I will get my answers today. Emma, I'm on my way. All right. Creepy mansion it is then. So move, tab for inventory, flashlight. Um, I wasn't done reading, but sure. But sure. Right, we're in the house. We're in the house. Ooh, home sweet home. Renowned author Everett Sage recently acquired ownership of a historic estate in McLean, Virginia. This stunning property is said to be cursed with an ominous urban legend attached to it. Legend has it that over a hundred years ago, a powerful witch named Eleanor Marsh lived on the land and was executed there. Locals believe that the place exudes an eerie aura, especially during full moons. According to popular belief, the spirit of the wicked witch never truly left and continues to haunt the estate to this day. It's hard not to get chills when studying the history of this particular mansion. The designer, a banker named Archibald Craven, died exactly 666, of course it would be that number, days after the construction was finished. The following year, his wife went missing, and within the next three years, his three sons died in mysterious circumstances. Since then, every owner of this mansion has shared a fate similar to that of Archibald Craven's. The last proprietor ended up in the local psychiatric asylum. Authorities were unable to unravel the truth behind the enigmatic disappearance of the rest of the family. I shouldn't be an S on Craven, so I'm just, just helping the developer out with the grammar. I'm a stickler for grammar. Okay, well, wow, that is scary yet beautiful bit of artwork. The door's locked. Ooh, what's that? Oh, do I want that? Items marked with the grab icon can be picked up. Take the flashlight by pressing the E key. Oof, that was pretty disgusting. Okay. Okay. From the bottom of my heart, I feel like I'm living in a dream. Everything is different. This feeling I discovered changed me, and it's all happened thanks to you, dear Everett. It's a beautiful dream. If you hurt me, it'll turn into a nightmare. Yours forever, E. 
What's the name of our sister? I don't remember. Right, what have I got here? I got a light, a, a, a lighter and a torch. So is that my sister that's written that? Where is Everett Sage? So I'm just looking at the adverts for Rory the Handyman and Andy's herring. <laughs> they smell nice. They taste good. They are dandy. That's the way of Andy. We will trim everything but your wallet. Man, woman, kids, dogs, cats, mothers-in-law. Only with a razor. Okay, the news of Everett Sage's disappearance broke yesterday morning. In the past, the eccentric author often shocked the public with his unusual behaviour. Therefore, some think that the whole situation might be nothing but a hoax or a marketing strategy for the upcoming book, Darkford Broken Dreams. However, Captain Lawrence Christopher from the Virginia Police Department reassured the public that the authorities treat every disappearance with the highest level of attention, and there will be no exception in the case of Everett Sage. He also advised that police officers had already thoroughly investigated the author's mansion but found no sign of burglary, trespassing, or any act of violence. Well, there's a pool of blood with some worms next to a torch. I just found it. We are pleading with anyone to share information with us on Everett Sage's whereabouts in the past week, said Captain Lawrence Christopher. Neither Everett Sage's publishing agency nor the agent has commented on the situation yet. The release date of Darkford Broken Dreams has been postponed. Okay. So, I've read downstairs is locked. Let's have a look upstairs before I go. It's a pretty old mansion. It's got to be said, there's Bloody footprints going up the stairs. I didn't see them before. They go straight on. I wanted to explore them back there, but okay. Oh! What? Alright then, so there's no turning back now. Eh? Okay. Okay. It's raining blood. Let's avoid that. <laughs> okay. Oh. What's the opposite of raining? What's that noise? Okay, okay. I can't think. I need to just move. Can I sprint? I can't sprint. Good sign. I probably won't get chased then. Right? What the fuck was that? Oh. Hello, hello. Whatever you're trying to do, it's not working. I just want to take my sister home. Emma! Emma! Huh? Do you want me to leave? Well, I told you, not going anywhere without my sister. So, where the fuck? The House of E. I am intrigued. Colour me intrigued. Isn't it mad how some people just make games for free? Shit, what was that? Oh, my head. Alright, focus, Dave, focus. There must be some clues in this friggin' mansion. Come on, move your ass. Ooh, it's very dark. Okay, yeah. I have a torch. Bing bong! Hotel bell. I know it works for sure, but not... But not what? I'm not sure who used it. Okay, I didn't see this bit before. It's got to be clues. It's time to solve a murder. Oh. Okay. Aggravating. Another time, there's a, t there's a, t there's a, there's a, what are they called, the little ones? 
Feed us, feed us, feed us. Okay, that's a talking turtle. <laughs> I think I might need help. I have nothing to interact with. Part filled with blood? What's a fucking lettuce to eat, you little gun? How do I? Thank you, stranger. You can go now. Oh, can I? What? What have I got out of that? It's a clock. I have so many questions. Authorized personnel. Why is that there? Alright, that did nothing. So are these doors open now? Oh, well, that's implying. Where am I meant to put this painting? They are all open now. This must be the clock room. Okay, let's have a look around. The bog. Seen better days. Broken clocks, lots of broken clocks. Key! The only thing of use in this room. Saw. So, right, we'll remember that. We'll come back to that. <gasps> Another one. Do you talk? Enjoy your meal, buddy. Disgusting. Those worms again. Disgusting. I'll take the umbrella. Why not? Why wouldn't I? I want to make a quick cocktail. The kids are missing. I just got a trophy. What's that trophy for? Collect all the newspapers. Oh, didn't take me long. Reports from the schoolmates and family members reveal that the missing teenagers were fervent fans of Everett Sage's The Darkford series. It is believed that they became fixated on finding the mystical entrance to Darkford City, as described in Darkford, the 11th Circle of Hell. Tragically, their quest provided proved to be their undoing, as they met the same ominous fate as the ill-fated characters in the series and vanished without a trace. Everett Sage offered financial support to the search party and expressed his sympathy. However, he added that he could not be held responsible for the behaviour of his readers or for the way parents are raising their children. Pardon me. In response, the parents of the missing teenagers informed the public that they are preparing a class action lawsuit against the author. We have made several attempts to contact Everett Sage and his agent with no avail. And then the names of the missing teenagers. Okay. Well, only one more room left, and there, unless there's something around this piano. Okay. That door's locked. I have a key. Key doesn't work. Are you kidding me? She. We've got to go up there to those ominous, eye-glowing people. Let's go left first. Why the heck not? Oh! Is that a bloody door? That's the bloody door, the red door. I've seen that door before on the cover of a book about Dartford. That's how you get into buildings, especially if you ask me. I have nothing to interact with. Nothing to interact with. Yes, I can do. It's a very important item. No lighter, no cigarette, no cigarette, no coffee. No coffee, what's the point in living? Can I not? Hey. You fucking want me? Oh, okay, okay. So there's a candle next to each one. Interesting. I go in here. What's in here? Hmm. Can I turn this on? Fuck you then. Sketch of an eye. Ugly. Ancient ice with. It still works. Okay, let me just... It's a lot to take in, okay? That's not got a key, is it? Okay. So that... is that. 
the lighthouse is the lighthouse, and then that is the house. So why did it not stay lit for very long? Two, three, no, straight away. Interesting, okay. We'll come back to that. Yeah, that's that. Fuck! Do I want to open this door? He doesn't work. Good. I feel like that's like end game, right? <laughs> Jesus! Can I just... Oh, I just want to read that. Fucking hell. Whispers, whispers. Oh, these are heads. The fuck was that noise? Chess, never had the patience for this game. Mannequin facing a wall, it looks like a punishment. You got the balls, you got punishment. Very colourful mannequin. He's got something. So you've got a red, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a stripey. Can't yellow. Oh, and some of the balls have been knocked off. So they need to go on to these heads, but I don't know which one goes on which head, though. How am I meant to know that? Oh, pool table with mannequin heads. Some shapes and sizes, but different colours. Why? I thought I could pick them up. Okay. We're just gathering information at this point. Just gathering intel. Last room. Julius Caesar, proud leader, fearless warrior. He had a son, Cleopatra. Three daggers, why not five? <laughs> that is the question I would automatically ask. A blowing on from the Viking era, part of bloody history. I'm truly happy those days are gone. An ordinary anvil? An old wooden choo choo. <laughs> Am I an adult or a child? Cool cannon, very detailed. Model of a sailing ship, I like the details. A tricycle, I taught Emma to ride a bike. Oh, it is Emma, so E was the letter at the bottom. Uh, if it was a long time ago, but I remember as if it was yesterday. Hang on a sec. Okay. Okay, okay. Just a regular globe. Painting a clear patch. So this is just his... <laughs> Fucking hell. This is just his collection, right? Nice bloody try. Such a golden dragon. I don't think it's real gold, is it? Expensive collectible items. There's the cannon. Go! I'm stuck. I have nothing to interact with. Jesus Christ. Oh, I wouldn't mind that necklace, though. Wouldn't mind that necklace, though. Am I stuck in here now? Yes. Ah, from hell. The famous litter. L litter? Wow. Is it a cat, is he? Letter was written by Jack the Ripper, one of many unsolved mysteries. So I'm now stuck forever. Oh, but I can put it back. Oh. Hello. Out of my face. Thank you. So, what if. Uh, right, I'm already a bit stuck, I was not gonna lie. Are you just staring at my PC? Can I. Oh, can I replace that then with that? What's this here? Right, let's not entertain ourselves with that yet. Let's do this first. Leia, what are you doing? Take that, and that shuts, but then we put that there. Hey. The old switcheroo. The old switcheroo layer. Oh, isn't she cute? I don't know if you can see it now. She's just loafed. Wednesday, the 7th of July, 1971. I knew I wasn't living here alone. The darkness claimed... The no, sorry, I emphasized the wrong word. The darkness claimed this house first. 
when exactly that I do not know. One night, I heard her voice. Her voice. It was soft and sweet, like a spoonful of honey. Very soon, she found out that I am a good listener. She started to visit me, even during the day. Never invited, but always most welcomed. So the darkness, her she she. another dead end. Still got a painting that I need to put up somewhere. What's this door? Have I tried this one? I'm not trying the key. Okay, and it's locked. Well, goddamn, I think I'm a little bit stuck already. It's really not holding your hand, though, to be fair to it. Is this the only one we haven't tried yet? One, two, three. Same with this. One, two, three. And same with this. One, two, three, four. Yes. I'm not going to have time to do them at the same, at all. Well, I just didn't go the right way at all. Damn it. I have nothing to interact with. What am I meant to do here? Ah, ha ha. Ah ha ha, I have an umbrella. Where am I to... Okay, that one's done. So these don't stay on? No. So I fixed that one. That means the light is on. Something... Where's the doors? So there's a lamppost. I need to get a lamppost because that's got two lampposts. And then this house has got two trees either side of it. Is it this one? Where's that house? Well, that looks fine to me. Well, unless that's not the right house. Okay, so there are things I still need to find. Okay. Let's get our detective head on. This has got to be from somewhere. Hit my head hard, their eyes are glowing. They certainly are. Can I just get. Is it missing any pieces? I don't think it is. There's a card inside the birdcage. I can't move the hand of the damn mannequin. Okay, well, I managed to got, get that. Mm, 
new in them? No. Expensive whiskey and good wine. There was a time when this was my breakfast. <laughs> Ew. Maybe I should get going. On the table, there's a note on the table with a box. Come on! I need a safety pin or something to open it. I've got a fucking key. From the bottom of my heart, you are my treasure. Don't make me bury you into the ground. Yours forever, E. That's Emma. So, pretty dark stuff being said, really. I can't believe he's given me nothing for me feeding him. Human. Nothing else here. Are you, have you got nothing to say for yourself? Painting on Egyptian pattern vase. Too dissimilar to the one I've got now. Right, what's the point in this room then? I actually got anything from here, did I? Just another turtle that I fed. Oh, I guess it's just out of order. I'm stuck. Oh, good lord. Um. Oh. I have one. Oh, where's the other one? There's another vase somewhere. Vase. Vase. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, progress. This game is a little bit too on the opposite end of holding your hand. Which I'm not always a massive fan of. Hey yo. Right. Where's locked? Was this one locked? I think this one's locked. Fantastic. Key doesn't work. There's two locked doors in here. For you. It is. Might be for the other one as well. Well, there's a chair moving on its own. It's gone very quiet. Tuesday, 19th of October, 71. New dreams bring me an endless stream of pleasure. Seeds of her ideas bloom in my head like red roses on the top of a lonely hill. I have to work, I have to work. Darkford awaits. So it seems like some woman... Alright, someone was about to move out. If he didn't, he must be here somewhere. I'll find you. TikTok, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't like that. There's a key there, but I'm sure it's going to get me before I can grab it. Come on then. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a uh, it's it's the light for the for the model. What was that? Who did that? Okay, I missed that. Uh, right, I need a safety pin for that as well because I'm assuming this key doesn't work. What is that? Street lamp. Does that work? No. Okay. So we got two things that we need to pick the lock of. I can possibly progress now. Let's get over there. God, that's taken me a while. That's taken me a while. Where is it? I'm on the wrong side of the room. So yeah, so it's more like an escape room type game with kind of light horror elements, I would say, for this game. I do have a record. Crank it up. Hit me. Hit me with that tune. 
somewhere that's got a gap as well hey up it's all fucking falling into place guys oh, oh it's all coming together let me grab it uh, street lamp for you no e. I don't know what I need for this one because look where is that? It's the yeah, the bench with the gr green bit outside. Is it not this? Is that right? I need the top bit on the green roof. It's not there. So we need to look out for that little little mini house. Uh, right. So a door has opened somewhere, and I can pick the lock. So let's go back to that bathroom. I don't know what door it was that opened, though. I'm going the wrong fucking way again. Give your head a wobble. It wasn't this door down here that opened, was it? No. Okay, what's in this box? Oh, so this fire is open now. Oh! Oh, is this the noise that I heard earlier? May 2nd, Monday. I'm not right. I need a coffee. Every night I was drifting in the ocean of nightmares, but I wasn't alone. Her soft and sweet voice kept me on the surface. In time, I understood that she was leading me somewhere to her home, to the place called Darkwood. So the, the author is writing these things, right? But I don't know who he's writing them about. Are you dumb? Oh, part of a small but very powerful. Why can't I? Hmm. Not happy about that. How's it going to be part of a lockpick? It either is or it isn't the lockpick. Mm, I feel like their eyes were blue before. Which is a bit less intimidating. This door's open now. Hello? <laughs> Shit in hell. You fuck. Little fuck. What's that? Emma's brooch. It was my mother's brooch, and now it belongs to Emma. Looks like the clasp is new. Okay. What's that key for then? Is there anything else in here? How can I be so lucky? I'm about to interview one of the best writers of our time. However, Mr. Sage doesn't like public places, so he invited me to his mansion, to his home. Refusing this proposal would be rude, and it wouldn't help my career for sure. You got this, Emma. They say to never meet your heroes, but here I am, an exception. Mr. Sage proved to be a true gentleman with an impressive knowledge of civilization's history. We discussed notable figures such as Alexander the Great, Hannibal, and Cleopatra. He is undoubtedly the most intelligent person I've ever met. When I got back to my bedroom, I immediately fell into bed. I slept like a baby. We talked about my family today. I learned that Mr. Sage is an orphan who was raised on the streets. He changed the subject every time I asked about his childhood, so I didn't press him further. At some point, I shared about my own past, including my deceased parents and my brother David, whom I haven't seen in six years. The last time I saw him, he stole our mother's brooch. But he returned it to me a few months later. I haven't thought about David in a long time. Hope he's doing okay. I miss him clearly. Dearly. I had nightmares. I dreamed of David, who blamed me for everything, even the death of our parents. He was drunk again. The dream was so vivid that I cried in my sleep. Then I was surprised to see Mr. Sage standing next to my bed, holding a glass of water to calm me down. 
As he left the room, I thought I heard him talking to someone. Or maybe that was part of the dream, I don't know. It was a hard night. I took a stroll around the mansion and couldn't help but be awed by its sheer size. However, the place felt unusually chilly for this time of year. It wasn't until I bumped into Everett that these things started to warm up that things started to warm up. He's such an intriguing man. I don't feel like going back home. Today we discussed intriguing destinations to visit and diverse cuisines to savour. Everett mentioned Polish donuts. He also shared a wealth of information about Japan, my dream place to go. I sincerely hope to make that dream a reality someday. I fell asleep in his arms. Uh, where am I? Yeah. Had another nightmare. A red wall with watchful eyes. I woke up in front of the office upstairs. Everett never fails to surprise me with his unpredictable nature. During our interview, he suggested that we continue our discussion in Japan. Can you believe it? I'm beyond excited and feel like a teenager again. The idea is crazy, but it also makes me incredibly happy. Now the question is, should I go? Should I? Should? Ah, uh, carpe diem. say about that. This key's got to be for this door. Oh, sister, what have you got yourself involved in? Oh, shit. This looks like a big room. Don't look at them, Dave. Focus. They're just bottles. Nothing more. Nothing less. Empty bottles. Move on. Fair. There's still the room with the pool table I need to fix. A blackboard with a gramophone and a door. The setting looks quite familiar. Okay, so we can go back to the grammar room. The grammar room. From the bottom of my heart, I see how you look at her. Please, my love, don't make me pluck your eyes out. You know how much I love your eyes. Oh, yours forever, E. Fucking hell. Is it Emma? I don't know now. It's got to be. Sounds pretty obsessed with them. There it is. Cool. And there's... Fucking yes. Friday the 4th of January. I hate writing. I cannot stop writing. The book is done, but she demands new pages. Am I crazy? It cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be. At least, that's what the voices in my head have said to me. Saturday, 30th of June. I finished the manuscript. What a relief. Soon enough, my dreams become others' nightmares. What the fuck? <gasps> Hello. Have some fucking lettuce. Yay, I got a trophy for feeding all the turtles. <laughs> what a fun little addition to the game. Okay, so there's a door with the gramophones. Which I should unlock now by putting this house there, and then by then I need to pick the two locks. So let's do that first. There's one here, and one downstairs in the dining room. I say. What is that? One half of a small token. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck was that? Jeez Louise. Let's get this token. Okay. Oh, now it's starting to... Okay. Alright, I see you. I see you. Blow me into a false sense of security, why don't you? Blow me. Fix token with some marks on it. I don't remember off the top of my head seeing anywhere that needs a circle, but we'll bear it in mind, won't we? Go back to the gramophone room. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. 
There's a door going to appear on that wall. Watch. Fucking watch. Um. Oh, I've put it in the wrong place, have I? There we go. What's that done then? They're all lit. There is a door. It said there's a door. This door's locked. Again, that key doesn't work. Um. Do you want a disc? Must hit my. No, all of that. No, okay, all key. No, okay. Interesting. Okay, come on, Reese. Keep the momentum going here. You've done really well. Ah. Uh. Interesting. You were not here before. How did I get you to move your fucking hand? Let me double check I'm getting the right place for the door. So you've got the other yeah, the Ah! Ah! I need to draw the door. That makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. There we go. present. My eyes is too bright. Say again. My eyes is too bright. And I just get pushed back out. Brilliant. struggling here. I don't know how that helps me, but okay, I'll take any fucking progress at this point. What is it? Small, but god damn it, heavy as hell. I can't believe I just scared over that and just... <laughs> hell. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Okay, progress. Progress. Heavy as hell. Why would I need something heavy? Already done that room. Yes, hell. Um, you haven't changed, have you? I can interact with her now, though. to look it up because I was getting stupidly stuck. Um, there's drawers with these. I don't know what the fuck it unlocked. Okay, there's a book. That's probably his big study. You've got one. I don't believe this. 
Right, okay, so the key... That needs to go with a key. And then what's yours? Right. Can't believe this. Okay. What that? Atlas is in here. I'm such an idiot. It's difficult. different or not. Eey, it does. What's that? Card with engraved flames. Right. What am I meant to do with that? Can I put it on the globe? Nope. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, card with engraved flames. Ooh. No. Oh, credits. Okay, I've had to look up a guide once or twice. This game is difficult. Blood drives the light away. My eyes prevented me from seeing the truth. The house is a beast that feeds on souls. Fear flows in its veins. Only red roses do not show traces of blood. And as the red door will be opened forever, the light will wither. She loves me. Blood drives the light away. Spectacles. Why do I have spectacles? Why on, why on earth do I have spectacles? Um, do I put them on the angel at the front? This point, why not? We'll give it a go, shall we? What are these fucking glasses, love? No. <laughs> Damn. I really thought that was gonna do it. Okay, so having looked most places now, the only thing I can interact with but can't figure out yet is this pot. Oh! I didn't even ends are covered with blood sticky whoa. Oh that's bright. Oh, so, yeah, okay, and then can I, oh, I hope this is right, can I then go through this corridor that was too blinding before? I can. What's that? Wooden mask, you can hide the ugliest face behind it. <laughs> Give it to your mother then. Oh, sorry, sorry, rude. on the angel. Aye. from the sketch I just found. No. So where has been locked the whole time? Is there somewhere up... Is there anywhere that's been locked? I can't think. I don't think so. Uh, I'll do a quick scan around, just... So I don't think it's going to be the front door, right? I guess it is an escape room, so it might be the front door. There's no extra doors now that weren't a door before there was a door. I mean, that looks... 
suspiciously like a door now? Or am I reading too much into that? Okay, I'm reading too much into that. Oh, the, the atlas now. No, the book. But there was something to do with the atlas as well. But there's a book in the office that I need to open. But what was the thing about the atlas? Okay, maybe I have to do that first and then come back to the atlas. I completely forgot about that. About the sketch that I thought I found. No, no, don't do this to me. This way. Not stop me. Weird arms. But there is nowhere to go. Is there? What is this place? You are breathtaking, David. Thank you. I know that. Take a shot, David. Oh, is in breathtaking drown. Take a shot, David. Shoot yourself. Hang in there, David. Ooh, I get it. It's a great bounce. Cheers, David. That's personal. Laid in, David. Don't really see the pun in that one. And you're on fire, David. Um. What if I don't want to do any of them? Do I have to do one? Hang in there, David. Cheers, David. It wouldn't be the alcohol one. I'm not doing the alcohol one. You're breathtaking, David. Take a shot. Do I have to? Old timer six, you were loaded. Do I have to? Go? A bathtub filled with warm water. Okay, 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 okay. Hang in there, David. Just looking on the noose makes my neck itchy. Hmm, we'll leave that one till last. Oh, I, I've skipped it now. Tools that can put the whole world on fire. And a knife. Pretty small, very sh Do it good. Do it just like you should. I want to. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't actually kill myself. Right. It's locked. No, it's fucking not. No, it's not. These are the... Are these not the... Ah. Drawing look like. Okay, so it's a right side door. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's locked. Okay, I don't understand because I've looked. Oh, there's a button. Oh. 
There we go. There we go. Right, ignore me. I thought I'd have to fucking look at a bloody guide, but I didn't know that you had to interact with that. Okay. Where's my... What the fuck? That's a giant tail. Alright, mate. Are you for real? I am tripping serious balls right now. This is, this is the door covered in blood. In the place between two worlds, yours and hers, you've reached the end of the road, David Adams. Wait, you know my name? We've heard of you, and we've been watching you, David Adams. Who told you about me? Was it Emma? Have you seen her? We have. She is as kind as you are, uh, but much more fragile, like a flower in the wind. Where is she? Behind the door, existing in a different realm alongside many other poor souls who suffer just like us. She's alive, right? That she is. I must bring her back. I must save her. Can I? Am I too late? You can save her. You can save all of us. I came here to find my sister. Don't care much about anybody else. You have the power to break the cycle, David Adams. To free us all from the suffering. Please. Oh, Mr. Till. I, well, I might help if you help me. Yes, yes, we can help destroy the eye. The blind eye sees nothing. Stab the eye and end this nightmare once and for all. Hold on, will Emma be okay? Will she come back to me? The eye dies, Darkford dies, we die. All of us. Are you crazy? You want me to kill my sister? We ask for your help. Oh, we are many, so many poor souls. But worry not, David Adams. You have shown us that there is kindness in your heart. Just follow its voice. I don't think you know me. I'm not a good person. Maybe David Adams doesn't know himself well. There is always a good time to make things right. I'm not sure about that. You said many poor souls, so what? I mean, who are you? We are her prey, her friends, her enemies. But most of all, we are tired. We seek peace, and you can give it to us. Is there some sort of female figure behind the writer? Confront the red door, confront the eye, confront her, make a choice, David Adams. You're goddamn right, I will. I haven't got a knife. Welcome, dear David. Oh, this is E. I'm not afraid of you, I want my sister back. Oh, yes. Let Emma go right now. Your sister, so pure, so innocent. Yet she poisoned my Everett's heart with love. You also know what love is, but beautiful hatred is what drives you. I don't care what you think of Emma or me, or whatever happens to this fucking writer. You can keep him. I just want Emma back. Oh yes, you care only about her. What would you do for your little sister? Whatever I can. You can be my soul. Your soul? Can't you see? From the bottom of my heart, I need you. Step into Darkford. Be with me forever and ever. From dust till dawn. From always to never. From hate to love. Uh, will you let my sister go? Will she be free? This game has knackered me out. She will wake up and she will live. She won't miss you because she doesn't need you. I do. I feel like I know what my character would do. Give me your soul in exchange for her life. This is the fruit of sacrifice. Can you do it for her? I think you would. And how can I trust you? It is up to you. It is your choice. Now, I do know I can go back and, and see the other ending. Now come, David Adams. Open the door and join me in Darkford.
Use Emma's brooch to stab the eye. Use Strange Key to open the door covered in blood. I can do both endings, so we're going to go um, open the door covered with blood. I think he would... I think he's got that much to make up to his sister. I think he would just think, I'm just going to help her. Um, I don't know what's next for me. don't really care. The most important thing is that Emma has been saved. Some cop found her lying unconscious in front of the mansion. When she woke up in the hospital, she remembered her name but had no memories of what happened inside the house. There are a lot of things I wish I'd told her. Now it's too late. But that's okay, I can live with that as long as I know Emma is safe and sound. That is what a good that's that is what good brothers do. From the bottom of my heart, welcome home, my love. My name is and There you go, I wanna say that's probably the good ending of the House of E. Damn, let's check out the, um, the bad ending. I say bad ending, I mean we're ridding the evil. Okay. I skip through the dialogue. Yes. Uh, so we're going to stab the eye. sure what exactly happened here. Am I crazy? Have I finally reached into the shores of insanity? The eye is no more. Darkford is destroyed. The voice is gone. All those souls are free. But this victory tastes like horse shit. Oh god. Emma is dead. My little baby sister. Gone. But the man who was responsible for dragging her into this mess is gone too. I made him pay. I made them all pay. I did what I needed to do. And who am I? My name is David Adams. I'm unemployed. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a fucking loser. Damn. There's both endings of the House of E. It's a free, it's a free game, isn't it? So, you got to review it based on that, you know, that plays a big part in it. Um, for me, I had to look up a guide once or twice because I was stuck. But it is one of those games um, that doesn't hold your hand, that's like, you know, the things are out there, you just need to go find them and work out what, what happens. Yeah, it was good. I'd say, you know, it, it was free. It was it was good. I like horror. I like kind of escape roomy type games. Um, I'm not always the best at them, but I enjoy them nonetheless. The story, yeah, I got um, yeah, it was good. It was, yeah, it was a decent game, I would say. It needs a bit of polishing, but in general, a fun fun experience. I am tired, because that's used a lot of my um, brain power, what I do have. So yeah, let me know what you thought of The House of E. Uh, like I said, thanks to the developer for emailing me, asking me to play it. I was happy to, and um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching another one of my videos, and I will see you in the next one.